So now I am going to calculate the value for force constant of carbon monoxide. Okay. Of force constant. Force constant K. And now I will calculate force constant K for carbon monoxide. Okay. As you know, for carbon monoxide, the value of reduced mass, the value for reduced mass should be equal to 12 multiply 16 m1 multiply m2 okay divided by m1 plus m2 so 12 plus 16 so now if i multiply it with by 10 minus 10 is minus 3 divided by 6.02 into 10 is power 23 so i get an answer in kg okay so my answer comes out to be 1.139 into 10 is power minus 26 minus 26 kilogram okay so as you know that this is my formula for this is my value for reduced mass of carbon monoxide and similarly if i have uh, the value for the wave number to be equal to 1 over 2 pi c under root k over mu taking square on both sides becomes v e squared 1 over 4 pi squared c squared k over mu Okay, so what I have to do, I have just to find the value for k. So this mu will go here, this will go here. So I get an answer for k to be equal to v e squared. Okay, and this v e is actually the wave number. So here is the wave number v e squared multiply 4 pi squared c squared into mu. Okay, so now if I, uh, if I apply all the values, the answer comes out to be 2. Uh, if I just take it like 2 v e pi c whole square mu i can write it just, just like that so now 2 multiply by pi value of pi is 3.14 3.14 again i have 3.0 into 10 is power 10 a this is the speed of light c and again what i have next is 2169 and you know 2169 is actually the wave number okay and uh, again i have this square and in place of mu i'm just going to write the answer for mu that was 1.1 into 10 is power minus 26 and the answer of all of this part comes to be equal to 1905 Newton per meter. So that was the force constant.